It's now a trap last, season two. Today on the show, we'll be talking with Mason Dark as well as in the attic. Also, Danielle Wilson will be joining in on the chat. And we will be answering questions in our inbox. All next on live. Okay. <laughs> it is January the 27th, 2013. It is Monday. Hello, everyone. Oh, today is going to be a big day. Today we have an actor from Flowers and Attic. Actor Mason Dye will be here. He, he, he will be here uh, in a few minutes. We're going to uh, do the uh, Skype with him, so he'll be here shortly. Um, anyway, I think this is just hilarious and funny, and... I want to actually talk about this today. Um, it came from True Funny Stories, and we're going to read it today. It's actually really true. I keep on thinking, uh, this is a stuffed bunny rabbit. Because don't you know how they make big stuffed animals? I'm like, no. This is this is, has to be a big stuffed bunny rabbit, but it's not. It's really a big rabbit, and it's huge, and it's the most biggest rabbit in Britain. And so there's a rabbit called Ralph in Britain. It has incredible, um, it has incredible a pea tent and eat a lot of fruit and vegetables for a meal so Ralph insists on eating for a few years. It has soared to nearly 25 kilograms to become Britain's fattest rabbit. I'm like, no. And I keep on thinking, this this has to be a stuffed animal, but it's really a real rabbit. And I would kind of like to show it to y'all. Look, look at that. The most biggest rabbit in Britain, everyone. The most biggest rabbit. What? Yep, the most biggest rabbit in Britain. Um, Ralph's food for every day, this is, you know, what Ralph eats to, I guess, to make him a little big. I don't know if he eats too much of what, but, uh, it includes carrots, cabbage, cauliflower, corn, co corn cobs, half a cucumber, two apples, two slices of bread and butter biscuits. Ralph recipes has basically not changed. The vet, um, even suggested the owner of the Ralph pollen feed less food. However, pollen said eat so much did not affect Ralph's health. Ralph is healthy. What? Ralph is healthy being that fat, y'all, so if there's anybody with a little hefty weight out there, you know, I guess it's okay. Anyway, I mean, it, I mean, it's okay for this rabbit, of course, but I just wanted to share that, and I'm like, wow, I need to share this on the show, don't I? So, I mean, I, like, it looks like a little stuffed animal, look. And I'm like, goodness gracious, I mean, would you like to have a rabbit that big about as, you know, when you picked it up, God, it was bigger than your cat or dog, pretty much? Wow. I'm like, Mom, it's time to get a rabbit. So let's feed it. Feed it up, pop up. Huh. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. I think that's so cool. I wish we could actually like, find it. I mean, I wonder if the rabbit's still alive. So I don't even know when, I don't even know when this was posted. So um, I would kind of like to find this girl and try to get her to um, be on Skype with us with the rabbit. That would be like so cool. But I don't even know if we can even find the rabbit. So I just wanted to share that. I just thought that was very cool, interesting news that people might like to hear. Anyway, um, we got a big, big show. You know what? Before we get on, I'm just so glad to actually be back. I mean, it's really fun. I, you know, I did not do a show in December. I, um, so I was off a long time. I did, I did a Thanksgiving show in November, but and then and that was pretty much it. And so, you know, now we will start with season two. I mean, season one was incredible. We had a lot of great, fun things. And you know, today's actually supposed to be Music Monday, but in honor of Music Monday, we're gonna throw it with Mason Dye. So yes, he's gonna be chatting with us about. Flowers in the attic and other things. Yeah. And also we'll be answering Twitter comments today. You don't want to miss that. We have a we have a good bit of people that send in really good questions that I think um Mason will be pleased to answer. And uh, we can, like I said, I'm just glad to be back for season two. Season two and the first guest for season two is Mason Dye. So I mean the host can never forget their first guest for the season. So really. Just like the first guest for the first show we've done. Y'all won't forget those either. Anyway, we'll be right back. Mason Dad's going to be with us on VR Skype when we come back. So stick around, everyone. We'll be right back. Coming up next, Flowers in the Attic star, Mason Dye. We'll be back in a moment. Hello, welcome back to Noah 
Matt Live. Now he has, you've seen him on Lifetime's movie, Flowers in the Attic. We are here with actor Mason Dye. Hello, Mason. Oh. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh. We'll get the fake clapping in here. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. They, they start doing the wave, too. Oh, yeah, like the, st the stand of the wave. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay. Yeah. Like. Okay. Now we're gonna. Uh, how was it like being in Flowers in the Attic movie? How did you like that? Cause you got so much attention from it. It was. Yeah, yeah. It, it was great. It, it was really fun. Um, and I mean, it's it's a great story. We had a great cast. Everyone was really fun to work with. Karen and Heather, Ellen, everyone, everyone on set was great. So. Yeah, it was it was a great experience. Had a lot of fun. Cool. Um, did you think you were going to get the um role for Flowers and Attic when you first tried out that day? Did you think you were gonna like be one of the lucky people to actually get it, or did you think someone else was gonna get it? like, oh snap, I didn't do that good? What 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 did you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, actually when I, yeah, when I got done I was like, Oh snap, I didn't do that good. So whenever um I, I got out and I was like, Yeah, I didn't do that good and I got home, and then the next day they called me, and they're like, yeah, you're coming back for the callback. And they're like, they really like you. And I was like, really? I was like, I thought I, I, thought I did bad. And uh, I went back for the callback, and I, I got to read with Kiernan on the callback. And cool. then the next day they called me, and they told me, you got it. Wow. So then I left for Canada three days later. Boop, boop. Cool. That's, that's very good. Okay. Um, had you ever read the story, Flowers in the Attic? Have you ever read it, familiar with it? Or... No, no. Before I auditioned, I had no idea about the, like Flowers in the Attic, even before I auditioned. <clears throat> but once I once I got the role, that's when I read the book. Once I got told that I had gotten the role, I was like, I have to, I have to read the book. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, then I read the book. Before the audition, I watched the 1987 version. Cool. Yeah, we, we had just seen that one. Because it came, it, there was it, another one coming yeah, on. Yeah, because it premiered like two weeks before. And I'm like, oh goodness, this is this is kind of yeah. bad about these. Yeah, about these. I, I said I was going to watch it again because it was so sad. And then I ended up They're like, uh-oh, it <laughs> it's a remake version. That's yeah. why they were showing it. Like, so like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> We saw in the movie that in the film y'all felt very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable being in the grandma's house. Explain to us why. Like, tell wait, us wait, something. Wait, wait, again. I couldn't hear okay. you. Okay. In case anyone that didn't see it, well, it hadn't seen the movie yet, um, we saw in the movie that in the film y'all felt very uncomfortable being in the grandma's house. And explain to us why, in case, you know, people hadn't heard about this movie yet. You know, they're just, like, tuning in. Okay, okay. Well, the reason we feel so uncomfortable in the grandma's house is because the grandma considers the children the devil's spawn. The grandma despises the children. Uh, she wishes that the children had never even been born. Mm. Um, so they, the grandma locks us in her attic, mm. and we're not allowed to leave the attic for mm. over three years. So that's why we feel so uncomfortable mm. in the attic. It reminds me of my grandma. No. I'm just kidding. Grandma's nice. <laughs> it reminds you of your grandma. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Your grandma no. locked you in the attic. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just saying that to be funny. No, it. Uh, I hope she don't watch. She, she will literally kill us. She's like, oh my god, my grandkids are on there talking horrible about me. Yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what would you do if you lived in an attic? Would you try escaping, or how would you do it? What would I do if I... If I, if I lived in an attic in real life? If, yeah, if you lived I in an would, attic. I would... I would... I would deck the attic out. I would have, like... I would have, like, water slides. Ooh. I would put in, like, a mini roller coaster. <laughs> um, we, we, we would have, have, to, like we have a, to visit a then. dance floor. Oh. There'd be a, a dance floor, and then... We could have a spa in the corner, oh. pool tables, um, 
and then we'd have like a 24 7 dj just like so the party just keeps going all night cool. long cool and then the grandma comes up there and says stop making all that noise <laughs> <laughs> and yeah until the grandma gets very mad and stops it yeah, yeah. <laughs> grandma said i'll be like i'll be like killed you uh, Okay. Nah, uh grandma, grandma would join us. She would come up there and be like, party. <laughs> probably get on the dance floor. Okay, okay. that one. It, it went from bad grandma and now it's a bad mom in the movie. What was going through Christopher's and Kathy's mind when she broke the news to y'all? When, when the mom broke the news? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> A lot, a lot of emotions. Uh, we felt deceived. We felt lied to, um, and we also felt hurt because that was basically the first time that they had known their mom had lied to them. So leading up to that point, their mom had been perfect in her their eyes, and that is like a a defining moment where they realize that their mom isn't perfect, and it really hurts them. But yeah. they're also angry too, so very awful. angry, yeah. Emotions flooding. Hmm. Okay. Will you be in the? Oh, so will will you be in the sequel? Will they be getting like new cast members? That's what a lot of diehards have been wanting to know. Like, you know, they will get new cast members, or they're gonna keep um, the same ones, or. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea. Um, I was at I was at the TCA press conference thing, and. That was the first time I'd ever even heard that we were making a sequel. Um, so, and I was on stage, and they announced it, and I was like, "Oh, well, this is a cool way to find out." But yeah, no, that was the first time I'd ever heard of it. And honestly, I have I have no idea. They could, they haven't casted it yet. I know that. I know the script. I don't even think is done yet. It's it's all in pre production. So. Soon as soon as I find out, I mean I, I'm down to do it. Soon as I yeah. find out, I'll let you guys know. Anyway. Yeah. Also, um, also the movie Flowers in the Attic will be available on DVD. Um, tell in case anyone missed the tweet you posted, when will it be available so the viewers that are watching will actually know? And will it be um, an extended edition or you know behind the scenes any bonus features for any everyone to enjoy? Um, it, the DVD will be available April 15th, okay. um, and the extended edition, I'm not sure if there's going to be an extended edition. I know there is one version. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but I'm going to say it because I trust you guys, and I trust all the diehards. <laughs> all but right. uh, there is a ver version I've seen that's an hour and 55 minutes. So, mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, that's a possibility because we, we do have a lot more footage. Um, but we have, we obviously had to condense it down for uh, TV. But mm -hmm. there there is going to be uh, behind the scenes. There are cool. there's going to be interviews of each of the cast members. Kiernan Kiernan gives a tour of uh, tour of the set, so you get to see the whole set and tour with Kiernan. I think I popped nice. my head out a couple times during, the inter during her tour, so you'll have to look out for me. It's going to be like, where's Waldo? You'll just be like, where's Mason? So I just pop out and have like a Diet Coke in my hand. But, yeah, you'll, you'll, have, to, you'll have to look for that. Okay. We're going to get to the Twitter questions now. People have actually sent in questions. These girls are sending some questions they want to know. So, um, at Mac, yeah, yeah. Mac Holla, is, is that right? Mac Holla? Mac Hola, Ma uh, no, 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 not Mac. I don't know what that is. Mac Hola D. Have you ever, Mac have you ever seen Ma Mac Cooler? Okay. Mac that looks like a frowny face, not a D. Though. I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. I, that, well, that might be wrong. It looks like maybe. I like, bet. I, I, now, but it looks kind of like a Michaela. I, be, I bet she'll change her name now. She's like, oh, makes it now. I thought of me to have a good username. I think it's Michaela or something. Okay. <laughs> Okay, have you ever thought about starring in the new Star Wars Episode 7? I mean, I, I think I saw you favorite this tweet, so. Um, I have, actually. That, I mean, that would be, that, that would be awesome. Um, I know, I believe they're going to fil start filming soon, or mm -hmm. from last I heard, they're going to start filming soon, but 
I mean, if if it happened, I would definitely do it for sure. Yeah. That that would be so cool because everyone in our house like liked Star Wars, and I mean, I think that would be cool for yeah. you to actually do. Can you it. imagine? I, me being like a Skywalker, I'm just walking around with a lightsaber. Nice, yeah. Off. Yeah. What made you want to be an actor? Yes, that that that, that that's that's another what question made, someone asked. Mm -hmm. oh, what made you want to be an actor? Um, I had a, always been in plays. Whenever I was a kid, like third, fourth, fifth grade, I was like in plays, musicals. I used to sing. I used to be good. Now I'm god awful. But, uh, no, in my sophomore year of high school, I, I was playing baseball, and I, I got hurt, and that's mm -hmm. how I kind of planned on going to college and stuff, so I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta do something else now, and I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll try acting, because I'd always loved it, I just never had, like, gone for it and actually tried to do it, so I started taking classes down in Texas, and then it just kind of... I, I got my agent, and then I got an agent in Los Angeles. I got a manager in Los Angeles. And I moved out to Los Angeles last year, and then just kind of took off after that. Cool. Um, and that's it. It's good to you. Says, how did you explain the movie to your friends? What were their re reactions to Chris and Kathy's relationship? <laughs> oh. The, the fun ones, the fun ones. Uh, you know, I whenever people ask me what it was about, I, I kind of tried to dodge that. But uh, I just would say, you know, it's about a it's about a story where these kids have the perfect life, and then all of a sudden, a tragic a tragic accident takes them from their perfect life, and they're forced to go live with their grandmother in their grandmother's attic. Um, and I just told them that they go through a lot of physical and uh, emotional abuse, and it gets to the point where it's so bad that they have to escape or they're going to die. Oh. So that's kind of that's kind of how I explain yeah. the movie. But the whole the whole and then it, I would explain it like that, and they'd be like, "Oh, that's a really cool movie." I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. like my sister. That would like, be cool because like, oh, I mean, I like you, my sister. you would want. You would want to tell you would want to tell them the weird scenes of like oh lord you know yeah. like, yeah. you know so yeah so yeah tell them the good scenes about it. just yeah, don't yeah, tell I them try that one awful scene just don't tell yeah. them about that yeah mm -hmm. no I was just like and whenever they would ask about it because some people would know about the story they'd be like wait don't you and your sister like you guys like each other and I'm like. I don't know. You're just gonna have to watch the movie. <laughs> but okay. next one, Snix yeah. Picks Neil. I hope I said that right. How do you cope with fame? You gained a number of followers. <laughs> uh, I have I have gained a lot of followers. Thank you, if everyone or anyone who's watching this that has followed me, because it's like you two too. Um. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like thank you for everyone that's followed me and stuff. It's it's been it's been fun. I mean, it's been a lot of fun. I've gone up like I think like eleven thousand followers in like a week or two. Oh, so it's, wow. it's pretty crazy. But um. Gosh, I wish no, I had not, that much followers. It's not really. <laughs> what? I said I wish I had that no, much I followers. Mean, it's, not, it's not that. You can go ahead. <laughs> oh. No. No. <laughs> I was gonna say it's 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 not that much different, honestly. Like, I I don't know. I guess I guess I grew up I grew up in the South, like you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in Oklahoma, which I used to talk like this. Yeah. And, and most people don't think that I used to talk like that, but I did. But um, <clears throat> no, it's just I mean, you just always just gotta uh, remember where you came from, you know. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day. I'm no better than anyone else, mm -hmm. so it's it's just it's 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 how you view it. It's all about perception. Another one, Maggie underscore nineteen M yeah. says, "When did you begin acting? What has you know? What has been your favorite moment moment of your career so far?" That's what Maggie wants to know. Um, 
Uh, I would say I I began I began acting my I would say it was about my junior year. So I was seventeen when I started acting. Um, I'm I'm nineteen now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, my favorite my favorite part of like acting so far would have to be flowers filming flowers in the attic and being on set because i mean that was that was really fun and we shot we filmed it in vancouver canada and that that was that was a lot of fun um and we i I was there i was in vancouver for like two months so i just got to go bike riding a lot got to go eat a lot of sushi (laughs) you guys like sushi no. We've never we don't tried eat, it. No. <laughs> well, don't I, eat sushi. I'm never hey, tried. It's all good. I had I had never tried sushi until this year. Oh. Yeah. So. It just it looks so gross. Like. Well, I guess last year, 2013. <laughs> yeah, it's actually not bad. <laughs> well, we should oh, try. Once you get used to it. We should get some no. here on our show and we should try. It. <laughs> I think I'll pass. Yeah, it. you. you you, yeah, you need to you need to get some. We'll like we'll have a series where we just get our sushi and just eat it. Okay. And people yeah. will watch yeah. us <laughs> eat sushi. I mean, I, I mean, I bet the girls but oh, that's just so adorable and so hot and so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Corrine. Look go. at him eat his sushi. <laughs> Corrine, go. I guess it's huh. name. Go. I guess it's huh. name. Anyway, Corrine. Anyway, something like that. What are your plans now after that Flowers in the Attic has finished? Um, I mean, uh, pilot season is almost here. It's kind of starting, and pilot season is just where a lot of new TV shows film. So, um, I have a couple of things that, fingers crossed, that they go through. But, uh, we'll just see about that. And I have... I have a couple things I'm going to next week that cool. hopefully uh, it, it just it's bad because I can't really talk about anything. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we understand about that. Yeah, we 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 have we have some yeah we have some things in the works. So fingers crossed for those. That's and cool. um, soon as soon as I know, and soon as I get the okay to tell people, I'll let you guys know. Okay. Yeah. Please okay. do. And then yeah. let you guys know where to. Where to tune in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because guess what? It's so funny. People are like, people are starting to think like, I, like we're related to Mason Dye because Mason Dye like tweets us all the time. And people will be, uh, well, people will say, follow me, follow me. And I'm like, okay, I'll follow you. Then they would DM me, do you know Mason Dye? Or are you kin to him? Is he your cousin? I'm like, yes, very, most definitely. I'm like, no. I'm, I'm, that would be really cool. He's my cousin. That's what people are saying. Yeah. We we can say we're cousins. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we, can, we can say you're my you're my you're you're my social media manager. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. That's okay. What that's, that's a good title. That social. We'll social. call it the S S M M. Social. Media. Social media. Manager. Yes. S M M. No. Okay. S S M manager. No, we'll just call you social media messenger. That sounds, that sounds better. <laughs> social media. Yeah, like so. I was on that video so, that you know, that that last video he made. Like he put a picture of me, and I on my Instagram. Like, I don't ever get on it, but I had some like Mason diehard fan like send me a request <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> I was just like, who is this person? <laughs> and at first she was freaking out, like, oh my god, it's Mason Dye. I'm like, no, <laughs> that says diehard. And she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hilarious. Shrimp Tia, but what's oh this is a good question. What's one food you think you could live off of? <laughs> one food I think I could live off of. Oh, this is difficult. Um, I'm gonna go with chicken Alfredo Ooh. from Olive Garden. Cool. I think I would yeah. live off fries yeah. and that's, ice that's cream. My, that's my go-to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I want to live off that. Do what? what? What would you guys... What would I live off of? What would you live he off of? He would live off of chicken and fries. That's all he eats is chicken and fries. So that would be him. <laughs> chicken and fries. 
that's chicken and fries from McDonald's. Good, combo. I could whip off probably waffles or pancakes. <laughs> I love breakfast. You, you oh, love uh, breakfast. That's <laughs> yeah. good, you. That's good. Yeah, and then you would be all big pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> I never want to be fat. Okay. So, next question is, okay, where are they? Where are they? Hold on, wait. I lost my spot. Oh, okay. Here we go. Bella Daniels 4. Mason, when did you start acting? Well, we just answered that question, so we'll yeah. just skip that. Um... McKay K Smart. McKay K Smart. <laughs> That's not so really funny. You know, McKay K Smart. What did you like to What did you like to do during free time and with whom? Um, and I like to I like to go bowling. That's like my number one. Oh, I like yeah. to go putt putt. Um, I like I like to go to see movies. Uh, I like to go to the beach, oh, we love work that. out, and I like to eat. I like to eat a lot. <laughs> Those are my go-to. But then with who, with who I have, I have a pretty big friend group. I have, and I have three roommates. Four of us live together. Um, Austin, Michael, Brock. Those are my three roommates, and we have a we have a house in Los Angeles. Um, but then, yeah, we then we have a we have a big friend group of about twenty of us, oh, and I wouldn't wow. name everyone's names, but it would be a long list. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that's all the questions we have for this episode. Um, Mason is gonna actually be back for the Valentine's Day show on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day yeah. is coming up really soon, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. So everyone, take care. We will see it you does. tomorrow on Tuesday. Tomorrow is a Teen Tuesday story. We're gonna have. Two girls that actually got killed in a car accident and their parents are going to share their stories tomorrow with, you know, don't text and drive. So we'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Bye. Wave bye to you. Bye.